Hello you guys. This is Miss Sandra here. And let me just start by saying I really, 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 really miss each and every one of you. This has been so hard being away from church and being away from all of my little friends and all of the parents that I'm so used to seeing. But I know that you all are home or maybe you might be um, at school or wherever you might be. I just hope that you're staying safe and that you're listening to mom and dad and that you remember all that we were taught when we were in Sunday school and all that we were taught when we were in Bible class and that those things are staying with you every day. I cannot wait to see you guys. For all of you guys out there who might be new and who might be joining in, we welcome you and we just hope and pray that um, today that you will be able to join in and enjoy the class and that you will learn a lot and that your focus for the rest of the week will be on what we talk about tonight. For you guys, I just want to let you know that I know we're going through a lot and you know it's hard being away from church, but I promise you things are going to get better and I have faith that we will be able to see each other soon and that we will all remain safe during this pandemic that we're going through. Um, I love each and every one of you and tonight we're going to have a lesson which is different because ordinarily we'd be face to face and I miss all of your hugs and I miss your smiles and I miss your laughs but tonight we're going to do it differently and I hope you still laugh and I hope you're still smiling and I hope you enjoy the lesson. So tonight, boys and girls, we're going to talk about pushing the limits. I know some of you might be saying, what does that mean, pushing the limits? Well, when I think about pushing the limits, I thinking about, I'm thinking about going as far as I can go if I'm pushing the limits. That means I am really trying to get as close as I can without going over. So our lesson tonight is going to be about things that we pretty much do every day. Probably some of us know, probably some of us don't know that we're doing it. Our first scripture is going to come from First Chronicles. Now, you know, Miss Sandra always want to do this when we call out the Bible verse. She'll say, First Chronicles, and you guys will say whether it's the Old Testament or the New Testament. So I want to do it tonight. First Chronicles, is that Old Testament or is that New Testament? And for you guys that said it's Old Testament, you are correct. First Chronicles is in the Old Testament. It's First Chronicles 1, and there's also a First Chronicles 2. Tonight, we're going to talk about 1 Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 9. And the first verse tells us that God knows our heart. See, I drew this pretty little heart for you. And he wants us to find him. I'm going to read it to you. And I'm going to read it to you how the, my Bible reads it to me. It says... As for you, Solomon, my son, acknowledge your father, who is talking about God, and serve him with enthusiastic devotion. That means being happy. Because the Lord searches every mind and he understands every reason behind our every thought. So, you know, we also talk about God knows our thoughts before we even think them. That's what that's saying. He knows all of your thoughts and all the reasons as to why we do everything. And if you seek God, that means if you go to God, he will be found. That means he's there for us. But if we turn away from God, he will turn away from us. Now, then, since the Lord has chosen you to build a temple for him as a sanctuary, work hard 
That's very important for us to know. Now, you guys are all going to be between the ages of four to seven. Some of you might fall out of that age range. And at this point, I'm going to talk to some of you guys about what are some things that we could do to actually push the limit. So when we say that, we're actually meaning going as far as you can without actually doing things that are wrong. An example of that would be, um, and I'll use my Brandon and Cameron because a lot of you guys know my Brandon and Cameron. So a lot of things that Brandon and Cameron do sometimes might push the limits. An example of that would be um, Cameron going against something I've told him to do. If I told him, Cameron, I don't want you on your phone, and he picks up that phone anyway, and he's trying to check an email, and I tell him, Cameron, I don't want you on YouTube, but he decides to go on YouTube, but doesn't look at videos, but he's still trying to get on YouTube. So part of that is, Cameron, I've told you don't mess with your phone and your own email. Then I also said, Cameron, don't mess with your phone and get on YouTube, but then he goes to the YouTube app, but doesn't actually get on there. He's pushing the limits because he's going as far as he can without actually getting exactly where he want to be. Sometimes we do things without realizing that we're pushing the limits. We don't realize we're going into things that we shouldn't do. And I always think about um, this saying, stay away from temptation. So if it's something that's really, really tempting and you know that you're weak and you really, really want it, and, you know, try to stay away from it if mom just baked fresh cookies and you know you're not supposed to have any and she said no cookies and you want one really bad don't go in there and stare at the cookies because t chances are it's going to be something that is going to be really tempting to you so we never want to push the limits god wants us to always come to him first so if it's something that you know is really bothering you or you feel like you might be weak and you might feel like I'm, I can't handle it I got to do it always say a prayer and goes go go straight to God because God knows our hearts and he knows our intentions he knows the reason why we're doing the things that we're doing so let's always be careful when we're doing things especially going back to school and being around a lot of different people a lot of times we might be tempted to say things about people that might not be too nice. Um, and those are things that we really have to be careful with, you guys. So I want you to ask, these, ask yourself these questions. How well did what I do please God? And you ask yourself that question. And if you can say, I, I don't think my actions please God, then the next time you're faced with that situation, I want you to do the right thing, okay? How well did my actions please God? If you have time to fix it, always fix it. And always pray about anything that seems challenging to you. Find someone to talk to about it, whether it's your mom, your dad, your older sister your teacher at school, might even be a counselor. If it's something that's really bothering you and you feel like you really are having a hard time struggling with it, always talk to somebody about it because you want to make sure that everything you do um, is a good thing. Every Everything that you do is something that won't hurt anybody or won't hurt you or won't go against what God has set forth for us to do, right? Pushing the limits on what we should not do. That means how much can I get away with? And if we have to ask ourselves that question, <laughs> we shouldn't be doing it at all, right? So tell me, where is your focus? Is your focus on pushing the limits? Or is your focus on controlling yourself, being mindful of what you're doing, praying about what you're doing, and, the, and, and just taking your time to do the right thing. That's what God wants us to do. We're not all perfect. No one is perfect. Miss Sandra's not perfect. None of us are perfect. We all fall short, but we don't want to get in the habit of getting as far away with doing things as we can, because at that point, then we end up being tempted to do things that we know are wrong, right? Got me? Okay. 
We should always do things that are right, not wrong. Because remember I said God knows our heart. He knows our heart, but he knows the things that we're thinking. He knows the places that we are in life. He knows exactly what we're doing, when we're doing it, before we do it. So we always want to make sure what we're doing is right with God. Okay? So... I want you guys to think about what we talked about, and I want you to always remember that verse. God knows our heart. He knows our thoughts. He knows our intentions. He knows everything about us. Remember, we talked about that, God knowing exactly how many hairs are on your head. He knows everything about us, more so than our moms and our dads do. He does. And I want you guys to always have good intentions when you're doing things. I don't want you all to get in the habit of doing things that you feel like might not be right, but I'm going to try it anyway. Or getting as close that you as you can to doing things that are wrong, okay? I love you guys. I hope that this has helped you, and I hope it gets you through the week. It has helped Miss Sandra. I always say when I teach you, I teach myself. And I pray that you guys will be able to have a good week and we can get back together soon. I look forward to seeing your smiling faces. I look forward to hearing your laughs and I look forward to the hugs that we used to share. Things are so different now and we can't even hug, but we'll give each other an air hug. <laughs> Until we meet again. Bye.